Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite beef stir fries. So I like to get everything all prepped up first. It just makes my life so much easier when we get over to the stove. So I've already chopped up one bell pepper, actually made it into thin slices. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. I just like to go down the sides here, just like that, so I try to avoid all the seeds. Okay, nice and easy. I don't like to waste any of it, so I'm gonna get this little end piece here. Okay, and then I just like to take this little rib out. Okay, I don't need to be eating that. Okay, same thing there. And I'm gonna continue doing that, and then I just make like nice, long, thin slices. They're just gonna cook up fast like that. Oops, wrong bowl. And the same thing here. Okay, some nice, long, Okay, so next are my scallions. I love scallions, I love the flavor of them, and I like to use the white and the green. I'm just kind of like, not to the very end, but no need to waste them, they're delicious. Okay, so just kind of chopping them up. Just small little pieces. Okay, just like that. And then again, I like to get everything all set for me. So when I once I start getting the pan hot, everything's ready for me. I've got my sauce ready. I've got my veggies ready. I'm going to slice up my steak in just a minute. And we're going to get over to the stove. Can't wait to eat this. Okay, so I've got my steak. This is sirloin steak, but you could use um, skirt steak. You could use flank steak, whatever you have. I'm just cutting it into like little thin strips here. Again, I want everything to cook quickly. Okay, so just nice thin strips there. There we go. There we go, excellent. I love a stir fry. I like everything about it. I like all the different flavors. And you can make it so many different ways with so many different proteins. So this one I'm gonna cut in half. And then again, just make a little, thin strips out of it. All right. Okay, so I've got about four tablespoons of avocado oil that's heating in here over medium high heat. I've got my steak all seasoned. I just went light on the salt because my sauce is gonna have soy sauce in it, which is salty, and it's even though I'm using low sodium, so I didn't go too heavy on the salt. Get my steak in the pan, and you wanna hear that nice sizzle, just like that, okay? So this it just takes a few steps, but it's so worth it. Okay. And this will just take about three to five minutes total to cook. Okay, I got the meat I just cooked through. I'm just gonna slide this out onto a plate and then we're gonna get our veggies in there. There we go. You don't even have to wipe this out. I'm just gonna throw my peppers in there. You wanna put your peppers in first because they're gonna take a little bit longer to cook and then I'm gonna add everything else right after that. And again, because I'm using soy sauce, even though it's low sodium, it does have a lot of a salty flavor to it. So I'm gonna put just a sprinkle of salt on these veggies. I always tell you, it's really good to kind of season every layer, but we're gonna go really light, okay? I'm also gonna add just a little bit of pepper going over the top, okay? And I basically just wanna get these peppers to wilt down just a little bit and then we're actually gonna finish it off. We're gonna add in the other veggies. We're gonna make our sauce. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, so my peppers are nice and brown. They've, got a, they've softened up just a little bit. So now I'm gonna add in my scallions. We're just gonna build the sauce. Scallions go in. These, this is one can of sliced water chestnuts going in. Sometimes I take the help when I can get them. I bought them already sliced. Why not? Okay, 
So now we're gonna add in, this is a half a cup of hoisin sauce. I love this. It's like a Chinese barbecue sauce. It's so good. Okay, going in. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of soy sauce. Okay. This is the juice of one lime and the juice of a half an orange. Oh, I wish you could smell it in here. Okay, I'm just gonna give this all a stir. Okay. And now I'm gonna add in the rest of my spices. This is one tablespoon of chili crisp. If you've never used this before, it's delicious. One tablespoon of lemongrass paste, a teaspoon of garlic paste, and a teaspoon of ginger paste. All going in. Seriously, wish you could smell this in here. Delicious. Okay. Now, we're just getting our sauce all combined. Just like that. And I'm going to let this cook just a couple minutes, just to get those flavors all together. Okay. And the great thing is I don't even need to thicken this. If yours was a little bit looser, if you added some chicken stock or whatever in there, which would be fine, you would just want to make like a little slurry, which is using a little bit of cornstarch, equal parts cornstarch and water, and you just mix it together, and that can thicken almost any sauce. Okay. Oh, this looks so good. Okay. So now I'm going to add the steak back in, right in the pot. This is three ounces or half a bag of pea pods. Going in. Three quarters of a cup of peanuts. Delicious. You could chop them if you want, but I like them just like that. All right. I love a stir fry. I already have some rice that I cooked. It's gonna go right over some rice. You could put this over quinoa it would be delicious. Or just have it as is. Okay, I think this is pretty much ready to serve. I'm gonna taste it for you too. Okay, this is so beautiful. I can't wait to eat. I'm gonna take myself a nice scoop here. Going over my rice. Beautiful. So good. So good. Okay, just like that. All right, I'm gonna go in for a taste. I wanna to try to get a little bit of everything. I'm gonna get a little piece of the steak. Little piece of the pepper. Oops. Pepper. Just like. All right. Going in. Mm. That sauce is to die for. You get the citrus. You get the the chili. The little kick from that, but it's not too spicy. Kids would enjoy this. Pepper. It's just it's fabulous. I can't say anything else. You're gonna love this. All right, if you find these videos helpful, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell. That way you know when our next video is coming out. Enjoy.